What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It has been a very long time since I have filmed everything or anything or whatever and I apologize but there are certain reasons. They're really good reasons as to why I have not posted any videos. So yeah, you know, um, I have a 1JS13. It runs and drives and I've been drifting. This car is amazing. I love it and I wish I could have continued with the build uh, and everything, but I'll just give you a quick glimpse, but we're not here to do a showcase of the car But it's all back together changed the wheel got the gauges old seats and stuff did some things to the interior Obviously the 1j is in there uh, Fabricated all the intercooler piping myself and you know, we'll go over all that stuff later, but Right now we're here to talk about someone else's fabrication skills so Reached out to a company I seen on eBay, didn't really know much about them, didn't know anything, asked him a few questions, we worked out a deal, and he hooked me up with some bash bars, because I, I can't fit it with the uh, front mount, I can't fit the original bash bar. So I needed bash bars, and I was like, hey, I like your product, I don't know anything about you, do you want to like do a little collab here, you help me out a little bit, I'll review your products. He said yes, so we're going to take a look at them today. So this is the... Uh, True Focus Fabrication Bash Bars. Uh, you can see them on eBay or his Instagram, which I'll link now. But I will say, these are actually really, really nice. I am actually extremely happy with the way they came out. Um, they're clean, yet have everything I wanted. I got the tow hook on there, but I really like his little badge. That is just really sweet. So right now we're prepping these to paint them because they come bare. Um, so it keeps the cost affordable. Uh, you can choose to get them painted, powder coated, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to do some paint. I'll go over that later. But it's hard to see with the lighting. But, but the welds are just... Man, that's, that's how I want to weld. I want to get there. I really do. I want to get to that, that, uh, that ability. They are really nice so far. All right guys, so I went ahead and scuffed everything up with Scotch-Brite and then I wiped it down with um, distilled water and alcohol, IPA, uh, isopropyl alcohol. I'm not gonna be priming these or anything. I'm using an oil-based enamel for now. Um, basically, I'll strip it later if I decide to powder coat or do something like that. But I need to kind of get these painted quick because there is a event in like a week. But right now, I'm just doing black. And I'm gonna try something with the, with the black I have. But just take one more look at these. Look at these welds. Look at the bends. Really nice bends. I mean, just like, yeah, there's a there's a very little slag cleanup if you really want to be perfect. For the most part, it's it's almost perfect. There's just a little in some of the weld areas, a little slag that can be cleaned up. I really, like I said, I love these little uh, name plates. These are really cool. But man, I'm just really impressed. I, I wish I could get my skills to this level. Um, so I'm really excited to run these. Um, and I'm really, uh, you know, appreciative of, of uh, you know, True Focus Fabrication uh, for helping me out here because, man, these are just everything I was looking for. Got the tow hook mounts and everything. You know, they look beefy. Uh, it's all DOM tubing. So, you know, this is quality um, and they're really affordable. You got, you know, the single mount here that's not just like slant cutted and welded to this bracket. It's actually got a tube welded on there so that you get a good tie in. Um, this looks to be like quarter maybe. Um, just eyeballing it, it's pretty thick. Uh, this looks like it would withstand everything I could need from it. The jack point is just, I really like this flat style jack point here. So, I mean, I could sit here and talk about how much I like these all day long. Uh, but let's get these painted. So I'm gonna go mix up some paint and we'll get to spraying. Hi right, guys, what I'm using to paint is gonna be this Rust-Oleum Protective Enamel. This is a can be a direct to metal paint, so you don't need a primer or anything like that. It's gloss black, so it shouldn't look too bad. Just something simple, gloss black. I am going to experiment. I have some of this uh, blue pearl. I don't know if you can really tell. You can kind of see the pearl in the plastic. I have some of this blue pearl left. I'm gonna throw some in with it and see what it does if it does anything to the black just out of curiosity for this i have sprayed this before on a car i'm using naphtha 
it's real quick drying and it's really worked really well the last time I sprayed out of a gun with this. You're going to want to do a 50-50 mixture or a one-to-one. -one. So I'm going to mix up some paint, throw a little pearl in there and uh, we'll see what happens. All right guys, so we have the first couple coats on there, so I figured I'd show you. The pearl actually does show up, which is kind of nice. Uh, I kind of wish I would have had a little bit more to throw in there, um, but it is kind of cool. So um, you might not really see it too well now, but uh, but yeah, so the black is coming out. It's looking pretty good. Uh, this enamel lays down pretty smooth, so um, it actually is a pretty decent, like, paint substitute I guess or cheaper version of paint I mean it's an oil based paint uh, and everything I don't know maybe you can see the pearl in there but it's it's actually really nice um, and now that I got some paint on these bash bars they're just looking even better so you know we're gonna put it pretty thick we're gonna probably put about five coats on here try to get some more of that pearl to come out and uh, just get some decent coverage on here so that they'll be pretty durable I know it's been a while. I know I haven't really had much content. Well, actually, I've had a ton of content. I just haven't had the time to film and edit. But uh, but yeah, so we'll just give another little look at this. But either way, we're gonna let these cure for about five more minutes. We'll lay some more coats on there, and I'll bring you guys back when uh, we get near the final product. So yeah, stay tuned. What's up everybody, welcome back. So today is another day. Uh, I let the paint cure and everything like that for like 24 hours-ish. I actually had to do a few touch-ups that I couldn't get to, so I had to wait for it to dry so I could flip the bar and get a few areas that I didn't get enough coverage due to just the awkwardness of it. But I think it came out amazing. The pearl doesn't pop as much as I had hoped. Uh, with some light on it or in the sun, you can kind of see the blue metallic pearl in there. But um, I just think I didn't have enough to really bring out a lot of it in the color. But, um, but they look really good. Here's the front bar. Um, you know, it's just black. You won't be able to see the pearl because it's just a crappy day. And then the real bar, rear bar. Um, overall uh, impression is uh, <laughs> I think they look amazing. For a simple $15 paint um, that, you know, is should be pretty durable and, uh, you know, prevent corrosion and everything. I think it'll work out perfectly. So we're gonna slap on these bars. We're gonna see how the fitment you know, is and everything like that. I will tell you with my setup and maybe your setup, something to consider is uh, your intercooler. So looking at my car, my intercooler sits in the front. Ta-da, like a lot of cars. So the problem I have is just the, the how far it sticks out because the bash bars, um, you know, for the uh, jack point curve inward a little bit, it actually sits right up against the, rate or not the radiator, but the intercooler. So I had to kind of shift a little bit to try to get a little clearance of it back and I was able to due to the adjustment. So, you know, they are fixed mount, a stud here and a nut here. So the stud comes through here and the nut goes there. Well, there is enough slot adjustment to get a little bit of clearance in my case because the hole is slotted as well so that you can, and actually this will probably be a, a better view of it, but the hole here is slotted and the back is slotted. So you actually have some in and out movement, which just so happened to be enough for me to clear my intercooler with just a little bit of a tweaking extremely happy about that but that is something to note that if you think you have a really thick intercooler setup or you're or you got you know oil coolers mount in front of your intercooler or something it's just something to consider due to the slope of the bash bars jack point is going to curve towards whatever's here but let's grab it let's try to fit it and see how it looks i don't have a tripod or anything like that so I'm just gonna get it set up there, let you see how it looks installed on the car, and then we'll get her bolted down. All right guys, there it is, all mounted up. Really easy install. Like I said, with the slot on the bolt holes, you're able to adjust forward and aft, so you can get the fitment just right. As you can see, I'm just barely clearing the intercooler. This is solid. I don't know if you can see, but the car is actually wiggling on the jack stands. Um, I overall love the look of it. I think it looks really good. I think it fit really easy. I didn't have any issues really with the brackets not fitting to the frame, like one side going in and not being able to get the other side. The spacing was like perfect. There wasn't a lot of warping when welded or anything like that. So I didn't have to fight with it or bend it apart to get it to line up. I literally just squared it up, slipped it right in, and then just adjusted it where I wanted and tightened the bolt holes down. So 
for fitment, I will say True Focus Fabrication, A plus on your part. All right guys, so I got the rear bash bar fitted and I will tell you, ignoring the fact that my car is a little tweaked so the bar doesn't sit perfectly level because the driver's side frame rail access port where the bash bar installs is down a little bit compared to the passenger side. I did have some damage on the driver's side where I've hit things through drifting and stuff like that, but I was still able to get the bar in pretty easily uh, and everything like that and it still looks really good. Um, not exactly sure how I'm gonna attach the bumper yet. I will cross that road when I go to put it back on, but I'll show you guys its fitment. Now, like I said, right there, um, that area there is down compared to over there. So it has a slight droop down towards the driver's side, which is really hard to tell. You might notice it, um, you might not, who knows. But uh, I notice it just because I know my car and then I can tell looking at it that it's just a hair down on the driver's side. But I will tell you that the bar is extremely easy to install, fits really nicely, had no problems, plenty of room with the car and everything. And overall, I think, you know, that it just looks really good. I'm super excited, I got a jack point now and everything. So, man, once again, I will say, True Focus Fabrication, man, your jig or whatever you're using to make these bash bars is on point. I mean, the fitment is there. I had no issues installing these bars. The only, like, critique I can say is there's just a little bit of cleanup that uh, if you really wanted, like, a show car type, like finish or um, look, you would want to clean a little bit of the slag. Um, just a, there's just a little bit left over from the welding process, not much. A quick buzz with a flap wheel or whatever, get it all cleaned up in like 10 seconds. Not a big deal, but I, I just had to think of something that I could nitpick at and be like, that guy that has to find something negative. But other than that, it looks quality. Uh, the welds look strong, the material used looks durable, looks like proper thicknesses for what you would want in the areas that, you know, like the brackets, they look to be properly thick, so they're not gonna just bend with like the breeze of the wind. Uh, the tow hooks, they look thick, the welds look great, great looking penetration, nice looking beads. I mean, the dude has some skill. A lot more skill than me. I did wanna tackle this project myself and make my own bash bars, but Time is of the essence. Sometimes you just gotta pay other people for their skills and their uh, their products. And that's what we did. Like I said, he hooked me up with a really good deal on these bash bars. Um, so I wanna thank him again for contributing to the channel. I mean, you know, every little bit helps. If I save a dollar there or, or $5 or a penny, every little bit helps. And I just wanna thank anybody who does help me um, you know, just contribute to me drifting to the car, to the channel, everything. So huge shout out to everybody. If you're still watching this, thank you, you know, for, you know, taking the time out of your day to watch this video. But if you're on the fence, like I was about an eBay brand, because that's where I first found them was on eBay. Um, don't be the, the quality is there. And if you need custom work, anything, just shoot them, a, you know, drop them a message on IG. Um, once again, I'll put that here. Um, you know, hit him up on his eBay auction. That's how I started communicating with him. Uh, go to his website. Everything will be in the description as well. And just tell him what your project is, what you have in mind, and he has the knowledge, skills, and, uh, you know, the patience to, to talk it out with you and help you out. So if you like the video, please, you know, share it around. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will catch you on the next one. Later.